Welcome back. In the previous videos, we looked at if, elif, else. We did a couple of exercises with that. And in this video, let's look at a few puzzles related to if, elif, and else. Let's start with the first puzzle. Try and guess what would be the output. So try and spend some time reading this code and guess what would be the output. Now, let's go ahead and execute. Right click, run if puzzles. You can see that the output is two. This is what is being printed. This is very simple example, right? So if k greater than 20, so k has a value of 15, is k greater than 20? Nope, execution goes to the elif. k greater than 10, yes. So it prints two and it does not print anything even though these conditions match, right? So k less than 20 is true, but three will not be printed because inside a if complete statement with elif and else, only one block is executed. So once this is executed, the execution comes out and it will not print anything else. Now, let's look at this puzzle. So what do you think would be the output of this particular piece of code? L is 15. If L 20, less than 20, print this. If L greater than 20, do this. Else do this. What would be the output? Let's run this and find out. L is less than 20 and who am I? because there are two different if conditions in here. You can look at the code here. You'd see that there is a if condition. If L is less than 20, do this. If L is greater than 20, print this, else do this. So this condition is true. So this line is executed. This condition is false. So else is executed and who am I is printed. Now let's look at this interesting puzzle. So M is 15 and if m greater than 20, if m less than 20, and so on and so forth. You can try and look at this code and try and guess what would be the output of this program. Let's run this again. You can see that nothing is printed. The most important thing in here is what is called indentation. You can see that this if is part of this if. So if m greater than 20, is m greater than 20? Nope. So what happens is the entire if block is skipped. So this if block is starting from here to here. So the entire code which is present in here gets skipped because of the way it is indented. So even though m less than 20 would have been true if it was executed, the execution never comes there because this code is part of the if block. And this condition is not true so this if block is not executed at all. I would recommend you to try and play around with this to understand this even more. Now, let's look at the next puzzle. Number is equal to five. If number is less than zero, number is equal to number plus 10, number is equal to number plus five, print number. What would be the output? The output is 10 because number is five. So number less than zero, nope. So this line is not executed. This line is executed, five plus five is 10, and the number is printed. Now, what would be the output if I just format this? So I'm adding two spaces, and I'm running this. What would be the output? The output is five. In Python, a block is determined by indentation. So as soon as I left two spaces in here, this line becomes part of the if statement. So if this condition is not true, then this statement also is not really executed. So this statement is not executed. So only the initial value of number would remain as it is and five is what is printed. In this video, we looked at a few puzzles related to if, else, and elif. I hope you had an interesting time during this section where we talked about a few numeric types and we are now talking about if condition. We learned about numeric types, we learned about booleans, we, we learned about conditions, and we learned about the if statement. Until the next section, bye-bye.